came in this game with fame. Neighborhood knew my name. Pretty girls knew my name. Welcome back to the Don McKay Show here on RadioOnFire.com. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. A lot of news that I want to unpack here today. We're going to get into it. Uh, Of course, if you miss any episodes of the show, RadioOnFire.com slash Diamond K is where you go or however you are seeing or hearing this. So there is a fundraiser charity event that i'm going to be djing called unmasking your fears it is october 26 6 to 10 p.m and uh, the creator of women at a stand which is a support group for women who have or currently are experiencing abuse in their relationship Uh, they provide emotional support to these women and give them the necessary tools to assist them with getting their lives back on track as i said october 26 women at a stand and creative artists unite network will be hosting a masquerade gala event beauty and the beast unmasking your fears and this is in honor of all women who have experienced domestic violence after the proceeds of this event will benefit uh, women at a stand's efforts in increasing uh, their ability to provide resources to these women and uh, the remaining half will be donated to a Maryland organization that assists victims and survivors of domestic violence. It's going to take place at 4709 Harford Road here in Baltimore. For more information, women at a stand at gmail.com or contact Four four three three one six seven three seven five. Ticket info and all that kind of stuff. Tickets are seventy five dollars per person. As I said, I will be on the wheels, touch touching down, doing my thing, uh, playing all types of music. So, with that being said, Jay Z catching all kind of black. It's been announced that Jay Z is going to become a part owner. Of an NFL team. So I'm confused at the backlash. I am. And I'm going to say that. First of all, Jay Z is playing chess, where a lot of people are playing checkers, Monopoly, Scrapple, anything but chess. Chess is a thinking game. Jay Z is thinking here. Every move that is made, you may not understand the immediate impact. You may misread things. But here's what I said that I'm confused about. So people are faulting Jay-Z for doing business with the NFL. He said that Kaepernick should be involved. So if Jay-Z does business with the NFL, there's a problem. But if Kaepernick gets hired and he does business with the NFL, everything's all good. Jay-Z is putting himself in position to be able to hire Kaepernick. And I I thought that was the plan all along. But it's even more clear now that these reports are out there that he is going to become a part owner of an NFL team. Now, what team has not been uh, stated as of yet? But it's clear that he has multiple reasons for becoming a part of doing business with the NFL family. So, uh, they're saying, reports are, that Jay-Z is going to have a significant ownership, interest, in an NFL team. What team is that? Is it going to be one of those New York teams? Is it going to be San Francisco? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, But we're told that it's going to happen in the near future. Could that be this upcoming season? Possibly. I know that Diddy wanted to get uh, ownership in the, was it the Panthers at one time? Uh, of course, that did not happen. But people, as I said, faulting Jay-Z. How could he do business with the NFL, right? This boycott and all this kind of stuff. You cannot stop young black males growing up in the hood or wherever they grow up at for wanting to play football. They're gonna boys are gonna want to play football. Many of them, not all, many, most. 
at some point in time. We want to get the climate right, not only in the locker room, not only in the boardroom, but what we uh, see, hear, and what happens on the field, right? Now, one person can't do that. Two people can't do that. It's going to take a team effort, people coming at it from all angles. Now, in order to change the climate and the mindset, we need someone inside the organization that we trust. Do we trust Jay-Z? I trust Jay-Z. I do. I trust that he, I trust him more than I trust, trust uh, uh, a lot of the, you know, bright upper echelon people in the NFL. Uh, but he is, he's not at the upper echelon yet. But I think that he's on his way. And I think that this is a move in that direction. Okay. He doesn't need the money. He doesn't. This is about a bigger plan. Bigger plan. Jay-Z is a huge sports fan. That is, that's clear with the sports businesses that he already has. So could Jay-Z manage players if he owns an NFL team or has ownership in an NFL team? Let's let's be clear about this. Jay-Z is not an NFL agent. He's not. Now, he also does not take part in the operations of the NFL players at Rock Nation Sports. Okay? So let's let's uh clear that out uh now and off the uh the rip. Jay-Z making some big moves. Now, he does have experience with team ownership. You remember that he had a minority uh stake in the Brooklyn Nets, sold that back in 2013, small stake in that. A lot of people got so much to say. People who are not making moves like him have so much to say. And, you know, what are you doing? You're just sitting on the sidelines talking trash, right? I'm very optimistic. Very optimistic about this partnership. But um, Nessa, who is the girlfriend of Colin Kaepernick, Colin Kaepernick himself and uh, Eric Reed, amongst uh, many, <clears throat> many people who seemingly have problems with Jay-Z's uh, ownership rumors, people throwing around the word sellout, the word, the word sellout. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Here's why I say that. Here's why I say that. Okay. You have a current player, Eric Reed, who is Carolina Panther, a player on the team, having the gall to say that Jay-Z becoming a minority or partial owner of a team is selling out. Interesting. Jay-Z very well could become a part owner of that very team that Eric Reed plays for. How could you be down and you are a player And Jay-Z now is in the ownership position. Explain to me how that makes sense. I maybe could see it if you weren't a player on the team, but you're a player. You get a check from the NFL. Let's let's be serious about this. So um, uh, he he said this, okay? If Jay-Z is going to be an owner, is Colin going to be signed the day he becomes the owner of a team? We'll see. Okay. But he's a defensive back. Um, so maybe he gets hit in the head a lot and, and uh, forgive him. Okay. Um, but anyway, uh, I think he's a very, he has a very small window with an ownership position to make a move to get Colin on the field, whatever team he's on. At the end of the day, uh, this should be about more than getting Colin Kaepernick on a team, okay? It should be about that. Obviously, 
Colin Kaepernick's in shape. Obviously, uh, if you know, I think that if he just put a muzzle on some of the people that he has um, speaking for him, things would be better. I mean, don't seem so pressed to be on a team. Like, just like do some other things. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I support what Kyle Kaepernick is is doing uh, or, or has done. But the desire, the thought that Jay-Z is supposed to, you know, consult Colin Kaepernick about some business deal that he's going to do. Jay-Z is there because of his strengths in the inner and relationships in the entertainment business. That's why he's there. That's why he's in the conversation. That's why he had the press conference. That's why they brought him in. Okay. Um, so interesting. Okay. There was a joint press conference at the Rock Nation, uh, you know, offices uh, with NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell, which formally announced a multi year partnership between the league and Rock Nation. And why? Why would they bring in Jay-Z? Jay-Z has been very outspoken about the NFL. This is why it's a great move on the NFL's part and on Jay-Z's part. It really shows the power of urban, the entertainment dollar, the community, and the voices. Jay-Z was approached by the NFL to perform at Super Bowl different points in time. He was vocal about not wanting other urban entertainers to participate. And now he's giving the okay saying, okay, it's cool. Let, let's keep in mind, a very short time ago, they were saying, hey, do you want a check to perform? Do you want a check to perform at the Super Bowl? And he turned that down, right? For various reasons, he turned that down. And... He went on to now be in the rumor mill of becoming a part owner of an NFL team. That's that's how far things have come along. It's like when you were pitching a demo to some record company. And then years down the line, now you're in partnership with these same record companies. That's, that's showing the progression that has happened. And some people don't understand that. Some people are looking like, oh, why won't you just sign a recording contract? Why would you want to be a, a you know owner of a record company? Like Some people can't think outside of uh, the mentality of being a worker. So when they see somebody in boss status, they get confused because they don't understand. And that's fine, but don't say nothing if you don't understand. Just watch and learn. You know what I mean? People that are ignorant love to talk real loud. And, and for a long time, too. Like, just keep talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up. Shut up. So somebody like Eric Reed, who, you know, I mean, he's, he's cool. You know what I mean? He's, he's cool. All right? He was, he's 27 years old. He's a pro bowler. And he was the first player to kneel alongside Colin Kaepernick in the protest, right? But now let's look at you, Eric Reed. Okay? Did you turn down a job because Colin, your homie Colin Kaepernick was not playing? Oh, no. You took your job, right? You took your job. And let's also keep in mind, Colin Kaepernick took a check from the NFL a few short months ago. Does anybody remember that? But still, Jay-Z owes Colin Kaepernick something? It's confusing. Very confusing. What does he owe him? What does he owe him? Nothing. Just a few short months ago, may I remind you that Colin Kaepernick took a check from the NFL, right? So so Jay-Z takes a check from the NFL after Kaepernick's taken one, and people are still complaining. Strange to me. Very, very strange to me. But anyway, the whole conference, press conference, was about the NFL and Rock Nation Their plans to work together to enhance the NFL's live game experience and amplify the league's social justice efforts. What's wrong with that? Okay, let let me let me translate that that to enhance the NFL's live game experience. That's about the performers 
that are going to be at the NFL games. Jay Z has the ear. He has a lot of relationships through his management company, through other contacts with a lot of top notch, high quality entertainers. The same reason that people like Rich Paul, the same reason that a lot of big time athletes do business with Rich Paul is because they come from the same place. They trust him and they understand him because he understands them. So he's in a position to help a lot of these athletes. Now let's let's look at Jay-Z. Very similar. Very similar. A lot of the athletes and a lot of the entertainers trust him because he comes from the same place they come from. Right? Now we have someone like that inside and having the ear of the NFL. And potentially going to be an owner of a team, a, a, a partial owner of a team. That's a big deal. All the things that people have been complaining about with the NFL, this is an opportunity to address those things. And why do we need to address them? Because young black males, males in general, are going to enjoy to watch and play football starting from a young age. So we, we can't run away from the fact. We can't say people are going to like to play football. Five-year-olds to grow up to be 15-year-olds who grow up to be 25-year-olds. Football, we can't escape American football here in America. So the best thing we can do is get it right and get it together. And I think that this partnership with Jay-Z is moving things in that direction. But a lot of people don't understand that, okay? Now, let's be clear. The NFL cannot, cannot affect police brutality, right? It can't. Now, we have somebody on the inside that's going to help this league with their social justice efforts. That means showing support. That means a lot of things. Let's see, let's wait and see what that means first before we start judging Jay-Z and, um, you know, his recent business actions. And let's understand, this is about capitalism as well. While I said he does not need the money, he's not going to shy away from a business decision that makes sense. He turned down small amounts of money, small amounts for him, because like I said, he could have performed at the Super Bowl. He turned that amount of money down for the bigger, more impactful decision. Now, let me continue to remind people that back in February, Colin Kaepernick and Reed, who has so much stuff to say, settled a collusion grievance against the NFL for less than $10 million. But they're not the, they're, they're not the sellouts. They took less than $10 million. Jay-Z is moving for much more than that amount of money. But Kaepernick is, he's all good. This is confusing. They just need to sit back and watch. Sit back and watch and learn. Definitely sit back, watch, and learn. So, th these are my thoughts on that. Now, of course, the Damon Dashes of the world are going to have stuff to say. You know what I mean? Uh, different different people that have had different issues with Jay Z. They're gonna have they're gonna have stuff to say. But these are big moves for. Let's understand. This is a former street guy from Brooklyn who now is in the position. First of all, the fact he's a billionaire. On paper, right? The the amount of rooms that he's been able to come in, considering where he comes from, is amazing. That should be inspiring to a lot of people from the hood. But well, people people don't want to look at that. They they want to look at something else, right? Their their focus is on something else. It's just like when President Obama got into the White House, people just wanted. Him to flick some switch and just give people stuff. That should have been motivation for people, right? Motivation. Because let's keep in mind, when President Obama was in office, Mitch McConnell and all those other clowns fought him on everything. And what did many people do? Many black people sit and complain, talk trash. He's supposed to be doing this. He's supposed to be doing that. They didn't even understand the way things worked. They did not support him. The way that Trump's supporters support him, even with all the foolishness that he does. And so I'm, I'm going to flip it back to Jay-Z. We're expecting Jay-Z to do what? This should be motivation. Other people should be making moves as well. And other people are making moves. 
It's, it's just a very vocal minority of people who don't understand business. That's what I'm saying. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at the Don McKay Show, at Radio on Fire. Of course, you can help the show, showing your support to the Don McKay Show. Cash app, at DJ Diamond K, a dollar sign DJ Diamond K, paypal.me slash radio on fire. Also, radioonfire.com, become a premium subscriber. You go to radioonfire.com slash join. With your help, Radio on Fire delivers independent news stories and original programming geared to a new America. When you subscribe to Radio on Fire Premium, you are helping to support a rising voice in urban America. It is because of you that we provide the web's fastest growing urban commentary. At a time when honest, fact-based reporting is critical, your support is essential in protecting our editorial independence, RadioOnFire.com. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's your man, Diamond K. Came in this game with fame. Neighborhood knew my name. Pretty girls knew my name. Still the same, nothing changed. 